Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example involves a basketball player. He is known for making 80% of his shots from the free throw line. That's pretty good. Now, what will be the probability that over the next five attempts he will miss three of the five shots? Okay, again, we're going to use our equation. Here, since he's going to miss three out of five, that means he's going to make two. So let the probability that x equals two, meaning the probability that he make two out of the five shots. So in this case, n will be five because there's five attempts. We have the probability that he'll be making the shot and the probability that he'll be missing the shot based upon the information given. So let's try to figure out how to calculate that. So the probability that x equals two is equal to, here we have n being 5, 5 attempts, and 2 will be in the basket, so he'll miss 3 out of 5. The probability of making a basket is 80%, 8 out of 10, so we can go 8 over 10, because he makes 8 out of 10 attempts, typically, that's what he's known for, and x, of course, is going to be 2 in this case. And then the probability of missing a basket is 2 out of 10, and there we have n minus x, which in this case would be 5 minus 3. Oh, not minus 3, minus 2, because he's going to make 2 and he's attempting 5, so he's going to miss 3. So simplifying this a little bit, so this would be equal to 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial over uh, and divided by 3 factorial, because that would be 5 minus 2, which is 3. Then 8 tenths is the same as 4 fifths to the second power, and 2 tenths is 1 fifth to the third power. So this will become 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1 and divided by 3 times 2 times 1. Here we have 4 fifths to the second power, that would be 16 over 25. And here we have 1 fifth to the third power, that would be 1 over 125. And here to simplify that, this cancels out this, and 4 and 2, they cancel, 4 becomes 2, and 2 becomes 1. In the denominator, we have all 1, so 2 times 5 is 10, so this becomes 10 times 16 over 25, and times 1 over 125. Alright, so let's see what the probability is that he'll miss 3 of the 5 next attempts. So we have 160 divided by 25, divided by 125, that gives us 0 0.0512. 0.0512, which is 5.12%. So that means that the probability that he'll miss the three out of the next five shots is about 5%, 95% of chance that he will not do so. That will have another combination. He'll miss more or he'll miss less. But the probability that he'll miss three and make two in the next five attempts is about 5.12%. And that is how it's done.